for being here and uh, for that warm welcome. Let's get right From our very beginnings, allies have been critical to our nation's survival. So I just see myself in uh, the continuing tradition of how we look at uh, allies, and history is very, very clear to me, not just about America. Nations with allies thrive, and nations without them die. So, you know, real simple. The Marines have put it more bluntly, I think. They say if you're going to a gunfight, bring all your friends with guns. You know? <laughs> and I try to be very candid about it. The Constitution was designed to be hard after that very nasty argument with King George III. <laughs> we didn't want it easy. We didn't want to replace a king with a form of government that would dominate us. So we said we're going to make three co-equal branches, and we're going to see if we can, and by the way, just add a little, little more um, a little more problem to it, we'll give one of those branches a bicameral legislature. By the way, all of them have to work together to govern. Uh, but the Constitution is a very hardy document. What is not so hardy is this experiment. And we're going to have to rediscover our fundamental friendliness and respect for one another. And respect, I think, goes to how George Washington did it again. Listen and learn. That's how you respect. Not No contempt for some of the different idea. Actually, once in a while, the people who disagree with you might be right. Because in some cases, I did the wrong thing. All we're doing is dividing. I understand we have to divide when we run for election. I'm smart, you're not. You try and say, well, you're right, I'm wrong. Okay, we die, and finally you guys vote. Okay, I lose. Okay, at this point, everybody who voted for me, we gotta roll up our sleeves and work with the guys who voted for him. And because governing takes uni unity. Elections are dividing, that's okay, that's democracy. Sometimes it's not very civil. That's okay, a little raucous, but when it's over, we go back to governing. Governing is about unifying, and that's the experiment that it worries me right now. Uh, it's not to say that I'm going to say the right way to do something. Over my 40-some years career, there have been times Secretary of State and Secretary of Defense didn't even talk to each other. They just didn't get along. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, our country paid a price for that. And I said, I think we've militarized our foreign policy. I think you need to be in the driver's seat. I will inform you of the military factors. I'll be very blunt. I won't hold anything back. I'll tell you what I can do, what I can't do. But I said, we need you and your diplomats in the driver's seat of our foreign policy mm -hmm. because uh, that's the way it's got to be. This is America, and we've got two powers, power of inspiration, power of intimidation. And sometimes you need the power of intimidation, but we really need the power of inspiration. That's where our diplomats seeing a better world can keep allies gathered to our side.